Let's learn some of the functions which can help us in counting things. Let's say we want to count the number of products we have. And I'm going to type here equals count, because I know that this function count. And as I type in C-O-E-N, you can see there are different count functions available. And this one, the plain count, counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. So I'm going to this, and I'm going to select all these, and I'm going to close the parentheses and hit enter. And it tells me 15. So there are 15 values, 15 numbers in this set of cells. And let's try to enter, again, count. Let's try to use the book names and enter, I get zero. Because as we saw, the count function is actually counting the number of cells that have, that have numbers. And since these are text values, the count function returned a zero. So instead of using the count, let's use count A. And count A counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So whether it's a number or it's a text value, as long as it's not empty, the cell is going to be counted. So open brackets, select these cells, close, enter 15. So use the count A if you want to count all the populated cells, regardless of whether it's a text or a number. Use count if you want to count the number of cells which have numbers. And as we typed in, we also saw count equals count count blank. So count blank will actually count the number of empty cells in a range. Blank tab. And I'm going to select these four cells. Close. Okay. And now I see four. So these are four empty cells. So count blank will be counting the number of blank cells. Now let's go back to the employees worksheet. And now let's say I want to count the number of days each employee has not worked in the entire year. So I will do count if and open brackets here. And before I do that, you can see count if counts the number of cells within a range that meet the given condition. So let's do open bracket and you can see the two arguments you need to give to this function are a range of cells and a criteria. A range of cells here is we want to select all these cells all the days for Rahul and of all these days if he did not work on a given day, that means the number of hours will be entered as zero. So my criteria here, so I'll do a comma first. My criteria here is I'm looking for zeros. So how many zeros can I find in this set of 365 cells, one for each day? So I'm going to type in zero and I'm going to close brackets and Excel tells me 34 days Rahu did not work or 34 cells where Excel was able to find zero. So, and if I want to extend this or copy this for all the employees, I can easily do that by just dragging. And for Nisha, you can see that these are the cells and we were looking for zero and she had 42 days where only zero days of work. So count if is a very powerful function. It can help you count cells which satisfy a specific condition. So this was a pretty straightforward count the number of zeros, but we can also implement, for example, let's say we want to count the number of days each employee was at work, which means they're going to select the same thing. And in criteria, we instead of saying zero, we want to know how many time, how many days were they actually working. So 
we can do something like this double quotes greater than double quotes put an ampersand or and symbol and then let's type in zero and what this does is excel is going to count the number of cells in this range where the value is greater than zero so i'm going to close I'm going to go ahead. so excel is telling me that rahul worked for more than zero hours which means at least one hour on 331 days and 34 days he actually worked zero hours and when i select both i can see here at the bottom that the sum of the selected cells is 365. so again 365 days in the year 34 did not work 331 worked so this, these kinds of calculations can be done very easily using the counted function and greater than can be replaced with less than or greater than or equals less than or equals and also we can use something like not equals using this way so this would for example this function or this formula would give me number of cells where it's not equal to zero and this would give me the same result as well because if it's not equal to zero it is going to be greater than zero in this case so i get the same result but i just wanted to illustrate that we can do greater than zero less than zero or not equal to zero and also greater than or less than just by themselves so these operators you can play with them and this would allow you to do uh, very different varieties of counting cells satisfying a specific criteria since we dealt with numbers we can do all these operators but we can also for example calculate um, the number of times the word rahul or the word d dot space rahul appears in this list of employees so this count if function can also apply to text values so i'm going to choose all this and do comma and now i need to enter my criteria so the way you enter the text criteria is double quotes in this case let's say we want to space r a h u l so between two double quotes you type in a text value and then excel will be able to match it and then count the number of cells that match it so let's say for example i didn't have a space here excel will tell me no i can find that match so it has to be an exact match of what you're looking for in the range of cells only then excel will count it if i put a space and hit enter excel says there is one occurrence of d dot space rahul in this list of employee names.